All right, YouTube, it's me, your favorite YouTuber and vlogger, David Harry. Right, what I'm doing in this video, uh, I'm just doing a preliminary test of this Flip 4. Um, basically, what I hope to do is a bunch of videos uh, coming up like on like this channel and my main channel uh, to do with this phone. What I'm going to do, I think, is primarily do one video on my main channel, which is like vlogging on a Flip 4. And just kind of get into the basics of it, you know, just give basic examples and stuff. And then what I hope to do is do a ton of like different ones to do with vlogging on this channel. Gives a second, I'm going to go slipping on my arse here because it's been raining and I'm going down a slight incline in the park. And I've done that one before and ended up with crap all over me, back and down the back of me, kecks and everything. Made it look like I'd been the toilet to myself or on myself. Anyways, yeah, so what I was saying is... Um, at some point, I'll do a bunch of things on this channel, which are going to be very specifically for things like external microphones and lavaliers and things like that, you know, and do, do a bit more in-depth testing. The stuff from the main channel, that's got to be more of like, you know, the, the high-level overview of stuff because, you know, most people on YouTube just really don't give a crap about the detail, but this channel is about the detail. Hence why I'm doing this video, which is a preliminary video. So for anybody who is familiar with me stuff, they know what, I'm, what I mean by preliminary video. And if you're new to the channel and you don't know what I mean by preliminary video, then go and get a dictionary. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is a number of prelims with the front and the back cameras here. I'm on the front camera. Uh, right now now i am in 4k 30 um i tried to see where 4k 25 was in the settings but i couldn't find it not saying it's not there i just couldn't find it so uh so far i can't find any pal frame rates these are computer frame rates i doubt very much they are going to be proper ntsc frame rates anyway so 4k 30 or 4k uhd so front camera now so far i have been just like you know you've been listening to whatever i thought was uh, the better of the two microphones right better example for what i'm talking about to do with the microphones so there's two microphones being picked up at the same time here one on one side one on the other side of the camera or basically either end of the phone now the problem for me is i don't like picking up dialogue in stereo because of this so as i'm going around like this we should hear that my dialogue has gone weighted to one side of the stereo field. And then as I carry on turning around, it's just gonna get like really unbalanced and stuff as far as I'm concerned. Now the thing is, you will have to have had headphones on or like listening on proper speakers or a spaced pair of speakers to have gotten that. If you're just listening on a crappy smartphone with a mono speaker, it's highly unlikely you will have heard anything going on there. But for the sake of like doing shit properly, I'm not going to start messing around doing cruddy stereo recordings because when certain people are listening back to it, it can be very disorientating. So like, like I say, right now, this is the stereo variant. And when I do all this stuff and move things around, my voice is flying over from edge to edge and stuff like that. However, if I do this and I just pick one of the microphones and set it into the center of the stereo field, then... No matter what I do as far as turning the like you know the camera and therefore the microphones around or the phone the camera and the microphones around in this instance it's all going to stay it, like anchored to the center of the stereo field so that for me is really important other youtubers can do whatever they want with this type of shit I don't care you know what I mean I do stuff properly <laughs> so basically that's what I'm doing for this test right now is just to give you an idea of what the difference was like between the stereo and then just like using like a single mono source for the dialogue and stuff now let me just get somewhere else i'm going to do a quick darkness test and by darkness test i'm obviously talking about exposure and in this instance completely auto exposure for, for anything that i do in this video i am using the standard camera app so there's no manual intervention whatsoever other than me selecting things to do with like you know supposed frame rate and stuff like that anyway so again front camera still now what i'm going to do is flip over onto the two rear cameras let's just see if we get any kind of like anything better as far as like noise and stuff is concerned within the picture being in something which is really dark i mean right now this actually looks really good as far as the amount of gain it's applied 
but you know that's going to be like probably a bit mushy and stuff and whatnot but it's done a really good job at gaining right up because this is a lot lot darker than what you're seeing on the picture there so give me a sec while i flip over to the two rear cameras okay so i've now just flipped over onto the wide lens on the back now the two camera setups here for the rear being wide and ultra wide both use uh, i think it's 12 meg uh, sensors so the thing is technically speaking you wouldn't expect them to be that different from one another except you know for their fields of use or their focal distance or focal length so basically this is the wide one is it any better than the front facing camera as far as the noise is concerned same position and everything like that now what i'm going to do is flip over to the ultra wide okay so onto the ultra wide now and like i've said these are identical specifications as far as the sensors are concerned apparently who knows but basically the ultra wide version is going to give us a much wider field of view now in doing so it's going to have to use a different type of glass or lens system compared to the wide variant so does that make it any worse or any better as far as like light gathering is concerned assuming obviously that both of them are the same sensors that are being used as far as these 12 meg sensors are concerned but nonetheless what i've done here is to give ourselves an idea of the front camera uh, rear wide and rear ultra wide as far as the auto gain is concerned in this environment which is quite dark and for even a really good camera they would struggle with what's going on here okay so staying with the rear lenses now um, so so far what i've been doing is stuff which is definitely going to give us a good idea of like the basic stabilizer and stuff that goes on within like you know the camera for the front lens that stuff just then like you know with all the dark things going on and that that's definitely going to give us an idea for sensitivity once again don't forget this is all done all completely automatic the thing is and i don't care what anyone says when you go out with either a smartphone up to like you know a dslr or a mirrorless or anything like that a gopro if you're going in and out of like mad crazy environments where like you know your exposure is going to be changing like you know every few seconds or something it's pretty pointless trying to be all cinematic about stuff and then like you know trying to go manual with your settings for vlogging it's a complete waste of time by the time like you know you you will have like you know set up to have done something you might have missed a great shot or something and also you might have just like thrown yourself like right out of the mental place where you were at ready to do a cool vlog but then you got bogged down trying to change settings on your camera and stuff like that um, as far as i'm concerned vlogging um, like this type of thing is like it's more about spontaneity and stuff do you know what i mean just get out there and do it you know don't be fooling around trying to be like george lucas doing a vlog anyway so rear cameras now and this is the wide so this is going to give us a good idea about stabilization now there is a crazy extra stave that you can put on can't remember if it's on the wide or the ultra wide i won't be trying that one because it is useless it cuts right into the frame and does all kinds of mad stuff it looks terrible anyway so once again what's this like um again because i don't know people have to remember these are my very first tests i don't know what these look like or what these sound like or anything like that and a lot of uh, the stuff that i do with these types of tests are based on what i already know about previous smartphones especially samsung so i could be wrong about the microphone thing although i doubt that very much because all samsung phones are basically the same with doing the two mic thing and stuff like that now gives a sec while i flip around again okay so i've now flipped over onto the ultra wide lens um i don't have a clue about a uh, vertical field of view here <laughs> it's likely to be that i'm not in a position that i would like to be in what it is i i try to get it so that i don't have like too much clearance above my head in a frame it's kind of like i don't know it's just i think it's a bit better doing a frame and like that rather than like having a ton of useless space above your head in the frame however it's likely that right now there's a ton of useless space above my head in the frame but there's probably a ton of space right around me now that again that thing there that i was just talking about to do with like that extra stape that you can apply it's weird because what happens is when you put it on i think it applies to the wide not the ultra wide but what it does it almost it, it does the opposite that in fact than what i just said what it does it makes the frame go wider so it's as if it, it it's as if it jumps two 
uh, the ultra wide lens but what happens it starts doing all kinds of weird foolishness with the picture and stuff and you start seeing all weird artifacts going on and things or at least you, you see that on playback and stuff so i wouldn't use it um however i've got stabilizer switched on for the three cameras that have you know that have been using so far and that stabilizer is basically whatever um you know that the phone does as standard so that's probably all going to be mostly down to eis type stabilization it says somewhere optical for one of the cameras or something like that however i would imagine that most of that is going to be enhanced with some kind of eis anyway but nonetheless this is the ultra wide and i'm going to imagine that this is quite wide <laughs> Um, so this will give you an idea, especially if, if you're used to using something like a GoPro and stuff like that. Now the other thing as well at the moment, it's, uh, it's quite cloudy and whatnot. So this is going to give you a very good idea of what it's like when it's quite cloudy and whatnot. Anyway, what I'll do now, I'm just going to flip, flip to another cut where I'm by the main road uh, and I'll do some stuff where I'm testing to see what the mics are going to be like picking me up against the traffic and stuff then I'll probably just end this by doing a little sit down somewhere okay so I'm just going to walk by this busy road which right now isn't that busy but there's going to be a ton of cars come by in a minute and I just want to test uh, just to see how well my voice is being picked up now obviously the microphones on this phone are definitely omni mics so yeah, I'm definitely going to be competing with all this noise right now. Um, although, you know, I've been surprised in the past at uh, just how good some of these devices can be at picking your dialogue up against other sounds around you. It also helps that I am not a particularly quiet person as well. So my voice does tend to get picked up quite a bit. Uh, regardless of like you know whatever extraneous noises are around me and whatnot um, now that was a little bit there with the traffic give me a second actually where I was just then on the road wasn't particularly noisy so what it is I've come here to the crossroad as we should be able to see now it's definitely going to get dead noisy because there's traffic coming from a couple of different ways here so what I'm going to do is just turn around as I'm doing this now the thing is these are only omni mics so technically it shouldn't make any difference whatsoever but it's always worth testing it for these things that I do here so I'll do one more little turn around here as we can see mad busy with traffic and stuff so I am definitely pushing this beyond all reasonable doubt on the junction here of the dual carriageways okay so I'm just going to kind of wind down this video now and what I will do is three examples here sat down with the three different lens options so I'm on the front again at the moment and the reason why I want to do this is because a lot of people do vlog where they're like either like you know either locked off with the camera or they're just holding a camera whatever that camera is they're just holding it whilst they themselves are not moving so they might just be sat down like I am like that like I am right now or they might be stood up somewhere but just not moving around and stuff because the problem is with a lot of cameras although they might have great pictures and stuff when you start moving around that's when you get like you know to the metal of a camera as it were because you'll start seeing what it's like for its stabilizer however sitting off like this will give you an example of maybe how good the picture looks like when the camera's not having to be stressed by working out like you know stability and things like that stabilizer still switched on and all the rest of it i'm just handheld with it sat down anyway let me just quickly flip over to one of the rears as well okay so over to the ultra wide now now the other thing as well that i, I need to work out as i've been doing all this is does the audio chop and change when i change like position with the cameras it shouldn't do because i think they all just use the same two mics for whatever it is that they're doing and the other thing as well i don't like vlogging with a front face and like screen you know so when I'm using the front camera, I can't stand it because what it is, I've gotten so used to using GoPros for like the last five or six years for doing vloggy elements and stuff like that. I'm quite used to not using, you know, um, like, you know, front facing screens. And I, in fact, now find them a distraction. So what I've learned to do is work out my position within the frame of the like the camera that I'm using and then just learn to look properly right down the barrel and stuff. And on that point, hopefully I am looking at the right lens, I'm assuming 
that's the wide angle lens that I should be on there. I'm going to be looking like a bit of a fool if it isn't, because one, I'll be talking to the wrong lens and I'll have been given the wrong information out as well. Anyway, what I'm going to do is just flip over onto the other lens, which is the standard wide lens. Okay, so the standard wide lens, which should be that one there and not that one. Okay, yeah, so I think this will be the last take. Now, actually, in fact, you know what I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try seeing if you can change all the lenses whilst in record mode. So give us a second, I'm just gonna, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pause this, sorry, I'll stop this take, do another take and then try this thing out. So I'll explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just see if I can freely change from like lens to lens or camera to camera during a single take. So right now I'm on the front camera. So if you give us a second, I've just flipped over onto, I think, is that the ultra wide or the wide? Well, whatever it is, is the other one now. So, oh, boom, there we go. There's the ultra wide there. Okay, so that would appear to be working. So ultra wide and then let's see let me just do that again oh wait there i've pressed the wrong buttons there's the wide and then let me just flip around and then that's me back around to the front so yes that does work okay let me just finish off with the last take now on the wide okay so back onto the wide lens just for this last take so basically what i've done in this video is to have tested a whole bunch of different things which should give me a good idea about certain things to do with the phone moving forward very specifically and obviously for vlogging other things as well to do with camera stuff but <clears throat> the, with the likes of these things like the smartphones the the main use that i've got for them with the cameras on them is for vlogging or video videoing stuff off. Anyway, so amongst the tests that I've done here, I will have gotten a good idea of field of view between the three uh, lenses or the three cameras, what they're like, you know, for this stability and stuff like that, what they're like with low light when I was doing like the low light stuff. Also, as I've been going on, I've been going in and out of like, you know, low light and like, like good light areas and stuff. So I'm going to get a really good idea of all that get a great idea of the audio on these things because in the last year or so the last couple of like samsung things that i've tried i've been absolutely blown away by the internal microphones now one thing as well at best there's only been a slight breeze today so hopefully there's been no wind distortion on any of the takes and even if there is anything to do with wind distortion that can happen with this phone um, and let's just assume that the mic system or when I isolate to one mic it does sound good I can easily get around that with putting a little small dead cat on it and stuff so these things are going to be great I think for audio or at least I hope this one is as good as say the Ultra, uh, the Ultra 22 or S22 Ultra because that was absolutely fabulous for vlogging with anyways yeah so this should like wind this all up except for there is one other thing i need to say here and that is i may not be doing any more videos with this phone and no more vlogging videos and not this massive array of vlogging videos to do with specific stuff to do with the lenses and specific stuff to do with like you know different microphones and that's because i can't find decks or mirroring mode in the settings now there is a fair chance i could have missed those out you know although i'm very familiar with these phones but i can't find decks or mirroring mode I, i'm not going to get into what decks is all about in mirroring mode if people don't know what they are then that's not something that they're going to miss however if you know what those things are you'll understand that for someone like me it's an absolute must to have those things on the phones because i record me gameplay and i play games to external monitors with controllers and treat phones and pads and tablets as in basically just like little consoles and stuff so yeah if if it has worked out that uh, my initial you know assumptions are that it doesn't have decks or screen mirroring i'm going to flip and absolutely send this back because i'm not paying a grand for a phone which doesn't have decks on by samsung do you know what i mean you know, or more to the point i'm not going to pay a grand for a samsung phone when there's like four other devices that i've had in the last two years that cost less than this phone that, <coughs> that had decks and screen mirroring on it so hopefully i am wrong actually because i bet you this is going to have been good for vlogging hasn't it anyway let me know in the comments and stuff like that what you've thought of this uh, or if you've got any very specific 
specifics that you've seen me do in this video that you might like me to kind of do a little bit more of in another video because like I say as long as it has got decks and I've got that wrong I will be doing a whole bunch of stuff with this and going into a whole bunch of detail about very specific things and I can't wait to test out uh, lavaliers with it. It's a couple of like small shotguns and some wireless things and stuff like that. Anywho I'm going to dive off because like I'm getting all parched right now. I need to get in and have a drink of something. Anyways, I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.